So suppose we're given this um, byte, right? This binary byte, eight bits, and we want to convert it to octal. So octal is a convenient thing because our, well, our method for converting from binary to octal and vice versa is actually pretty simple. Everything operates on these groups of three bits, right? Octal is based around three bits. So uh, what I like to do is draw these dividing lines in our given number here in groups of three. And we want to start working from our least significant bit. So there's three, there's three. There's only two here, but remember we've always got an infinite amount of zeros going that way. And now the conversion is actually quite simple. All we have to do is do each one of these three bit sequences into octal. So we know 110, that's a six. And we got another 110, so that's another six. And then we got 010, which is a two. And that's all we gotta do, right? This is so this number here in binary is 266 in octal. Sometimes we'll put an O there to indicate it's octal.